So captions are everywhere, but the tools inside Adobe Premiere Pro are very basic. Let me show you one thing. So here is a video. You can see here we already have captions. I want to animate those captions and want to add some effects, but you can see we cannot edit the captions and keyframes or effects. Using a plugin named Captioner, I can just click on this button that says add Mogarts and Premiere Pro will automatically create this cool looking captions for the whole video. Perfect. Now if I play it back, you can see. Hi. I'm James Prince and welcome to a new Adobe Premiere Pro tutorial. Today I'll show you how you can add cool looking caption just like this one in Adobe Premiere Pro very easily. So without wasting any more time, let's get started. You can see the captions are created automatically here in Adobe Premiere Pro. There is a plugin in Adobe Premiere Pro that makes it really easy to animate the subtitles. So today I'm going to show you how you can automatically create this nice looking subtitles for your video. So the first step is installing the plugin. You can see in this intro, I have used a plugin named Captioner. To install the Captioner, first you need to go to their website, which is captioner.tv. And from here, select free trial. Insert your email address in order to get 14 days of free trial. Head over to your email inbox and there you'll get all the instruction. The first step is install GXP installer. If you don't have GXP installer installed on your computer, it is available for Mac and Windows also. After installing GXP installer, click and drag this captioner installer file on top of your GXP installer. That will automatically install the plugin for you. Open Adobe Premiere Pro and you should see captioner under your extension tab. If you don't see it there, make sure to restart Adobe Premiere Pro. When you first start captioner plugin in Adobe Premiere Pro, it should show two buttons. One is a script and other one is lemon squeezy. We need to click on this lemon squeezy button. If you have purchased captioner plugin, you can add your license key there or you can just enjoy your 14 days of free trial. To add the animated preset that came along with captioner plugin, you can go to the essential graphics tab in Adobe Premiere Pro and there you can click on this plus icon. Now select the folder that contains the downloaded Mogart presets. All right, let's see how you can use captioner plugin. Start by opening a new project, then go to the text panel and make the transcription for your video. Check if there are any typos or mistakes, then correct it. Once you are satisfied with the transcription, click on this create caption button. From the caption preference, we can select a single or double line and the maximum length of the character should be 28 character. After that, click on OK. Once you do that, Premiere Pro will automatically add a subtitle track on your timeline. From the text panel, click on this three dot and then export the caption as a SRT file. That is the file that we need to add caption in Captioner plugin. Once you do that, you can disable the subtitle track. Now go to your Captioner panel and then click on the import captions. I can drag and drop the SRT file that we have just made. And you can see that it imports because the file path updates. Or we can just click on this browse to manually select our SRT file. To select an animation style, first go to the select Mogart tab. Here you'll see all the avail avail preset that we have added earlier. You can select any preset just by clicking on it. You can also add a new preset just by clicking and dragging the Mogart file here. And you can see the file path next to the select button updates when we pick a new one. Now from the select text input option, select your formatting. There is a double line option, but all the captioner preset use a single line. So I'll just pick the single line option. And lastly, from the create tab, select the track where you want to place the animations. If we select new track, it will create a new video track at the top of our layers for that subtitles. Or we can just select track title like V2 or V3 to insert there. You can add captions for the entire sequence by selecting the full sequence, or you can just make an in point and out point. Then you can select into out to add the caption for that particular portion. Now click on add moggers and you can see captioner is adding that animated caption on the timeline automatically. The execution process is very fast and I really like that. By default, the caption text is in the center of the frame, but we can click on the Mogart in the timeline and then it opens the essential graphics panel. And from there, we can change the position and scale. Then what I do, I copy the settings in the captioner panel. You see the update step. Make sure you have one Mogart file selected and then click on this copy button. Then I will select all the other caption using the track selection forward tool. If you press shift on your keyboard and then if you click on the first caption text, it will select all the text 
on this track. Now go back to captioner and click on this paste button. The plugin will automatically update the settings for all muggers. This is how we can modify any changes for all of them without having to nest the caption. The 10 preset that came along with this plugin is clean pop, emphasize, then karaoke, glitch, motion blur, ripped paper, spinning, typewriter, tiktok and blog. They are very trendy and look very professional. These templates are designed for vertical videos and if you want to use those for widescreen or square videos, you can download those for free from the captioner store page. But wait, what if you want to use your own custom animations? No problem. With Captioner, you can load your own Mogart files for complete creative controls. I have talked with the developer and he told me they will keep adding new Mogart preset for the plugin. Recently, they have added two new presets that can be downloaded from the Captioner store page, a Mr. Beast preset and other one is Boxy Text one. Let me show you how you can download those and use those for your video in Adobe Premiere Pro. Adding process is very simple. Click on the settings gear, then click the add folder button. And now we can select the folder that has the Mogart file on our computer. Go back to the select Mogart tab. If your Mogart file don't show up, click on the refresh folder button next to the select file button. We can select the new Mr. Beast preset. This time I will hit enter on my keyboard and all the Mogart get added to the timeline. This is great because we can stay in the select Mogart tab and just hit enter to preview different Mogart files or preset on our timeline. So I can select other boxy one and hit enter and it will replace the Mr. Beast one. This makes it really easy to download new Mogarts and use them in the plugin. And we can always make changes in the essential graphics panel. So this gives us a lot of flexibility. Every Mogart has different settings here, so we can edit those settings to make something truly unique. And like I showed you earlier, we can quickly copy those changes by using the update tab. Overall, Captioner is a solid plugin for anyone who are looking for to spice up their captions without spending a lot of time. The animated presets are quick and easy to apply and no other tool let you use your custom Mogart file like Captioner do. With this plugin, you can match your captions to the brand style or build your own Mogart file in Adobe After Effects. You can get 14 day free trial of this plugin just by clicking the first link in the description below. If you really like this plugin, you can purchase their monthly subscription that costs only $10. But the good thing is they have a lifetime plan too. I appreciate their gesture. If you are someone who need to use the caption feature every single day i'll highly recommend their lifetime plan and i talked with the developer so we can have a discount code just for you guys you can use the discount code james prince 10 to get 10 percent off when you purchase the plugin and the discount code works both for the monthly subscription and lifetime plan let me know in the comment section below if you have any questions regarding this captioner plugin or if you want me to review other tools so that is all for today i hope you have liked this video if you have liked this video and learned something new from this one you can give me a thumbs up if you're new to this channel want to learn adobe premiere pro video editing then you can subscribe to this channel to get more awesome video just like this one i'll catch you guys on the next one until then goodbye